Hey guys, Ron Moore here uh, with another Magus video response it's about how can we get the gaming community better? What are some ideas uh, how to fix the community? Well, only two ideas come to mind. Uh, the first idea, maybe we should try to do more panels or podcasts. As some of you know, I recently did a podcast with Magus on the S2K show where we interviewed Magus. It was very good, very enlightening. It was good stuff, and it was cool to have someone as big as Magus be on a small channel like the SC2K. Now, I think if we do that more often with each other, invite each other to each other's podcasts, um, that might get some YouTubers noticed. We got does, I think, podcasts every Saturday night on Multitapped. Um, the SC2K show is we we wing it. We play it by ear because our schedules conflict. It took us a long time to finally do the podcast with Magus. So try to do some more podcasts with each other. Invite someone. I'm not announcing anything for sure right now because I don't want to announce anything anymore because I don't want to make a promise I can't keep or whatever and I don't like to spoil anything. But I've talked to one YouTuber about possibly doing another podcast with us here real soon. And that would be great to do, uh, and we can get his channel plugged, or someone might want to invite me to their podcast, and I get my channel plugged. Maybe if we invite each other to different podcasts, sometimes it might get you know get people uh, get you more noticed, and get someone else more noticed. And I think it'd be kind of fun thing to do if a content creator that you like, or a let's player that you like, or whatever. Uh, it don't have to be about video games. It could be about something else. Because uh, I know Michael Bernhan, he loves wrestling too. So we have been talking about that a little bit. And so you can invite people to your podcast. If people invite, invite each other, I think that would be great. And um, you know, and then that way they can get their channels plugged and all that good stuff. So just that's a suggestion. My number two suggestion, maybe we should start... Uh, not too often, but every once in a while, do some more video game review contests. I did that a long time ago. I did, I think, two or three contests, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, yeah, three that I remember. Back in 2008, I think I had hit 100 subscribers. Like, October 2008, if I'm not mistaken, I hit 100 subscribers. And my 100 subscriber special was to host a video game review contest. Well, that was a failure because I did it too early. Um, I only had 100 subscribers, so not many people knew who the heck I was. I did get my video out there announcing it and stuff, trying to get more participants. Here's the thing. I guess because I was so little on YouTube at the time, I only had like three people enter. One person entered and only gave like a 30-second clip of playing off of a... PC and I couldn't hardly see anything. It was no commentary, but that was terrible. And uh, the three people did enter. One of them didn't even record footage; just sat there and talked about it. And and the second one, the other two that entered actually did pretty decent. And the one that won my contest was Retro Gamer Three. That was beginning where Retro Gamer Three was not that known yet, and he just blew up. Uh, not because of my contest. I'm not, you know, saying I'm the reason why I got famous because he won my contest. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that was during the time before he blew up. He entered my contest, and uh, he he did very good. And he won it. Um, so I made a second video game review contest sometime in 2009. I guess when I hit two or three hundred subscribers, I forgot. That was much better. Debtfan93 won that one. I think J-Man got in third place. I forgot who got second place. It might have been Masterhand. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But anyway, that worked out better. And I entered Spunky's contest. And I didn't really expect to win. Spunky's goes, this is a good review. You should enter in my contest. I was like, no. Nah, I can't. I, I, don't, I can't compete with other reviewers. No way. He goes... Dude, your reviews are much better than some of the entries so far. Give it a shot. So I did. I entered my Renegade review for the NES. Didn't win the contest, but got a few, I think, a few subscribers here and there. The winner of the contest gave me some good feedback, and I got more notice. My videos got views and comments. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool experience. 
Then in like 2010, 2011, I hosted a third video game review contest. I think to celebrate my 500 subscriber special. And Master Hand won that one, and that was pretty fun. And it was it's all for you know it's all for fun. Even if you don't think you're going to win the contest, enter it anyway because your video would get noticed. Um, you'll get more views and subscribers. Maybe it'd be a fun experience to do, and you know that might be a great way. To, and when you enter these contests, um, you could get more noticed, even if you don't win. So, and that's uh, another idea. Uh, those are only two ideas I can think of: uh, invite each other in podcasts or panels, and host some video game review contests. Now, I said I was never going to host another one again until I got a thousand subscribers, which could take years, but. I mean, so I I don't know if I um, unless enough people request it. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't see myself doing a hosting a contest until I, I get at least a thousand subscribers uh, as a way to celebrate a thousand having a thousand subscribers, and then my way of giving back when I hosted these contests is hey, thank you for the subscri subscriptions and the views. Here's my way to give back to you. Enter my contest to give you a chance to get more noticed and and my rules in the contest were you got to have gameplay footage commentary I let that I let that slide a little bit in the third contest but the winner got my subscription and a plug um, and I have a plug their YouTube channels on the forum I was running at the time SC2K and Facebook whatever um, also Second and third place winners, you know, get, they get a plug too. Maybe not necessarily my subscription, but it's all for fun anyway. It doesn't have to be super strict rules or whatever. But yeah, so those are my two ideas to help. I don't know if it's going to help fix the community, but it would be, uh, it would kind of spice things up a little bit, make things more fun, invite each other in panels and podcasts, participate in other podcasts. Don't just be the one inviting people. Maybe they can invite you, go on their podcast, talk about certain things, video games, retro, or your favorite video game of all time, whatever, and maybe host some video game review contests just for fun. I mean, and if you think you have a chance or not, enter it, and there you go. So, yeah, uh, tell me what you think about it. Is it's a good idea? All right, great. If it's a bad idea, why do you think it's a bad idea? Uh, so, yeah, I... Uh, that's the best ideas I come up with, and I thought that would be pretty cool to have review, review contests come back. I mean, I, there probably still are some on YouTube. I haven't seen them in a while. I entered Spunky's contest like maybe two times, um, and I hosted my own contest three times. And that was a long time ago, though. So, am I about due to host another contest or enter another contest again? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what let's see what you guys have to say about that, and then we'll go from there. So. Those are my two ideas, my two cents, and that is it. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.